I'm Willie Harkness, Quantinus Farm in Orkney, and I'm the Crone Scotland Kingpin. We're uh, farming 1,200 acres and we're a beef and sheep producer, so we're calving 400 cows every year in the springtime and we're lambing roughly 800 yows every year. Uh, and we're, we're a grass based system, a rotational grass based system, and uh, we have to make a a substantial amount of silage to take us through the winters as well due to such a, a long winter and a short short summer season. Uh, me and my father uh, are uh, kind of the, the driving force of it and then we employ three folk full time uh, to get all the operations done. I would be third generation now. Uh, the farm we're on we bought in 1966 and we've continually added other holdings on it and improved it since then. We have uh, an MX wagon here, a 350 behind me. Uh, we've had it for six seasons now. And we also run uh, a front and back mower conditioner. Uh, it's actually our second set. We've had a previous set before and got on well with them. Easy to drive and make a, an excellent job of conditioning and spreading. So it was an easy choice to go for, for the same again, really. So they'll be on their third season now. Uh, so. Uh, all round, I would say, reliable machinery for us. Uh, the reason we, we chose the MX wagon was uh, it's a, a good carrying capacity, uh, a good chop system, and uh, the running gear on it for, for travelling uh, was quite a, a, a superior running gear, I would say, to some of the other wagons on the market. But uh, the thing that also attracted us was just uh, labour, manpower to actually uh, carry on with other jobs on the farm. It's still a busy time of year. We still have calving, we're still shearing sheep. Uh, but with the old system of choppers and trailers, you you always struggle to get your other work done. So for the operation now, uh, just really two and a half, three people can be going at silage and everything else can still happen on the farm. So uh, it was certainly a, a win-win for that. And, a lot more fuel saving as well. We uh, demoed the Easy Cut mower uh, a lot of years ago and found it much easier to drive uh, and the conditioning system was better than our previous mowers. Uh, we have quite heavy grass crops in Orkney and uh, the actual weight of grass uh, with a plastic conditioner system wouldn't actually take it off the bed. So with the crones being a, a steel tine uh, it's actually got a far more efficient uh, conditioning system but also cuts out the need for tedders, uh, extra extra fuel, extra manpower. So with the easy cut system uh, it certainly was it was good. The one thing we did discover after using it was the actual the grass recovery, the stubble that's left, actually recovered quicker than previous mowers we'd used with a far more uh, clean cut uh, than what we've had in the past. So, Looking into it, I would say it's quite a family business still. Uh, I went to the trip, a tour of the factory in Germany, very impressed just with the, the whole setup, the sort of ethos of how they run it. Um, and then also, it comes down to backup too. I mean, in the best well in the world, everything should work and run, but you still need backup and service. So uh, we have Kemp Engineering in Orkney, and Kevin does a great job for us. Uh, if you need parts, if you need uh, wearing parts on it, uh, it's just a phone call away and it can be really here within a very t short time scale, I would say. Yeah, in Orkney, I would say we're always against Mother Nature. We have a very, very short weather window. Um, we get a lot of wind, we get a lot of rain at times of the year. Um, if it's hot further south, we would actually be probably in, in fog or rain on the north top, top of Scotland really. So when we get a chance to actually go uh, make silage, uh, other anything we're doing really, we want it to be reliable and, and keep going. So, and again, if you need backup, uh, you know you're gonna get spare parts, you know you're gonna get wearing parts delivered quickly because anything coming onto the island is another extra, an extra trip, an extra cost really, so. We need to get uh, spares or, or uh, wearing parts onto the island. It's always an extra time, but having, uh, having the backup on Orkney uh, with, with Kemp Engineering is key to what we need, really. Uh, you've got to have a dealership, and uh, also you've got to have um, uh, 
backup agents to help you really. So.